Hi, so today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a regular pool light into an LED pool light. Uh, if you don't have the right, right fixture, you can sp still make some modification and convert it. In my case, I had these small bulbs in my uh, LED, not the LED, but the uh, fluorescent pool light. And these are like 50 watts each, so it's like 100 watt system. Um, so I ended up buying this um, on uh, Amazon uh, with one of these. Uh, you can see, and I don't have this holder to fit in. And this is the model number for the light. It gives you about 18 or 16 different colors. Um, so I'm just modifying this light to fit my fixture. So as you can see what I did was uh, I cut this part off and there were two wires going in there and I just cut these two wires. So this is not a DC light, this is an AC light. So you have to make sure uh, what type of system you have. Mine is an AC system. And you can say this is AC 12 volt light. 18 watt so the wattage really doesn't matter but uh, as long as you're matching the proper voltage uh, this is the AC 12 volt system and that's exactly what I have in my pool so I'm gonna take you guys over there and show you what I have so here's my pool and uh, removing the pool light fixture is very easy there is just one screw on top and uh, I just screw that unscrew that and the whole assembly comes off there is a sealer and things which I already removed. Uh, you can find, find multiple videos uh, that will show you how to do that. But I just want to show you guys the basics. So this is the light fixture that I had. This was on top of this right here. And uh, the two bulbs that I, sh that I showed you earlier were mounted right at these two locations. Uh, not the big holes, but there's two small holes. Uh, that's where the two bulbs were. So as you can see, I cut off these two wires right from here. and. Uh, these two are wired up in uh, series, so it doesn't really matter how you, uh, in fact, they're in parallel. It doesn't really matter how you cut them off because uh, these are AC systems, so there is no positive or negative. You can connect the new system the way it is. So basically, all I'm going to do is connect those two wires from the LED to these two, and the system should work. Uh, I do have to make a little bit of modification since that wire, that uh, new light that I got is a little bit deeper. So I'm going to cut this hinge off, uh, make this straight so I can fit the bulb in and um, the ring and there's a rubber sealer which pretty much seals this entire light uh, for any water from getting in so you're gonna seal it from top the bottom inside is already sealed and you can see the gunk so which was already which already came with my pre-existing uh, bar so I'm gonna make this modification uh, you can take this off or leave this in whatever and most likely I'm probably gonna leave this in just curl it up and leave it in, in case if I or somebody else ever uh, end up using these lights again but you don't really have to um, also it's good to leave them in as a backup in case if your LED fails and uh, you just want to plug in these two and get it going that'll be an easy quick fix for you until you get your LED modification back on but I'm going to strip these two wires basically and connect it to the bulb and uh, I should be good to go and I'm just gonna uh, fit it in so I'll be back so to cut these hinges off you can basically use some kind of uh, um, machine or something to cut the, this thing off but I'm just using my set of pliers and uh, trying to cut it off. So once this is off, the light fixture should be able to go in a little bit deeper. Okay, so here's the new light assembly. Not really new. I cleaned this. Uh, there was a lot of uh, scum on top of it. There was a lot of uh, uh, salt and stuff. So what I did was I just put it into uh, uh, some acid with 30% um, acid and 70% water mixture. Uh, mu muratic acid, that's what I use and just soak it in and everything just comes off and you can just brush it a little bit and things will just come off. Uh, you have to leave it in for like a couple of, uh, maybe like you no know, five minutes or something and it'll just dissolve anything. Uh, and then make sure you do install a new gasket. I did install a new gasket. The light basically just goes around the gasket. Um, it goes either way and uh, just install this and I'm gonna be putting this one back in. So let's go back to our bulb installation. Uh, so here are the two wires that I cut, which I'm gonna be joining. Uh, with the other two wires again does not really matter how you join these wires there's no positive negative you can join any wire to any any wire so you just have to make sure when you join them you have insulated it good so um, that's pretty much it so good. okay so here it is uh, as you can see I, I cut this from here from my, with my plier and I just twisted it and uh, bent it with the nose plier 
and uh, all the way down there so I left these two so they can support the light a little bit uh, since it's plastic so they will just uh, act like a spring mechanism and just support it a little bit just pry it open a little bit over here a little bit over here just to give it some spring action and we'll just hold it, hold it in place because there is no really nothing on the back that would hold anything so this will just support it um, I uh, cut these two wires shave them so I can uh, basically strip them so I can uh, connect these two onto them uh, and uh, I'm using these two the smallest one that you can get to screw these uh, on there um, I brought some shrink wrap to put them on but you don't really have to use some shrink wrap because your seal should protect any water from getting in and type inside this housing and if you do have water going inside the housing uh, because of a bad seal I mean it's gonna damage your light anyways so this shrink wrap is not really gonna help you any with anything uh, and plus uh, I'm le leaving this one open so it doesn't really matter if you put shrink wrap or not um, again so I'm not gonna put it on I'm just gonna twist these uh, with these uh, with the wires join again doesn't really matter how in which order you put them in and uh, just put the light up and then uh, put this housing all back together okay as you can see I attached these two wires uh, they are tangled up but they're attached separately as you can see and you just have to be careful because these two wires are soldered onto a board inside which you cannot see um, okay, I'm gonna try to show you inside so there's that board and uh, the wires are yeah it's hard to see but uh, they're soldered together so you want to be careful that you don't break the solder otherwise uh, you're gonna have to tear the light apart and re-solder it and all, the, all that stuff so that's pretty much it I'm done with wiring so it's just a matter of putting these back and as you can see those two side brackets kind of support it and uh, kind of try to put the light in the center and uh, it's not going to be perfect of course but again this is a custom installation alteration that you're doing so it's not going to be perfect but it, it will work and uh, that's pretty much it we're just going to put everything back and it should be ready to go there is plenty of other youtube videos that will show you how to install this i'm not going to sh get into all that um but uh my main purpose was to show you how to make the modification okay so something i noticed was uh, when i put the light back on it was kind of like moving when i tried to do it and kind of so you want to make sure it's uh, nice and straight because if it's facing downwards then all the light is going to revert to the downwards position so um i'm going to do some modification over here as you can see these two lips touches this plastic so i'm going to make some marks uh, with some sharpie and maybe screw two holes that would put the light in a straight position so uh, let me try that and see how that works so here it is as you can see i put uh, these two screws and uh, you can see from inside uh, the whole light is hollow so it doesn't really matter uh, if you screw them as long as you just uh, keep an eye on the back that you're not screwing into anything but as you can see it's all hollow so I'm, i line these two screws with the width of this thing so these two screws will just fit on the side okay so the light is all uh, aligned as you can see the two holes uh, i slide the bracket within the two screws and they're holding it pretty tight so it's not really moving anywhere now just uh, hold it pretty good together so that's pretty much it now let's put it back together okay guys so i just uh, turned the light on since it's finally night time so i can test it and you can see um this light uh, does the flashing effects and uh it's controlled by the switch so i can turn it off turn it back on it'll be a solid light and it just changes different colors there you go that's just white so pretty much turning it off and turning it back on it's working great so the modification works so i hope uh, it's gonna help one of you guys uh to make modification to your pool for a very cheap price I think I paid like 50-60 bucks for the light, so it's well worth it guys. Try it on. Thanks.